What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you on iOS 16.0 all the way up to 16.5 and even iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1 on all devices including the A12 and newer ones like iPhone 14, 13, 12 and stuff like that. You can now change the fonts on your device without a jailbreak thanks to the KFD exploit released a week or so ago. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know back on July 22nd we got two major kernel exploits released and those support iOS 16.0 and even iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5 but also iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1. So with these we could start working on various tools and stuff like that including a jailbreak but for a full jailbreak we still need a PPL bypass as OPA334 the developer behind dopamine says in there. However while we wait to get a PPL bypass we can still do lots of things with this and people were hard at work in order to re implement the muck 30 cow exploit through KFD exploit so that we can update apps like Kawabunga and WDB font overwrite and stuff like that. Today we got just that, WDB font overwrite updated for iOS 16.0 all the way up to iOS 16.5 and iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1. So right here on GitHub on this account over here you can find the WDB font overwrite application which now supports those versions on the A12 plus devices and with this you can change the fonts on your device on all applications and settings and stuff like that without having a jailbreak. That's how you used to do it on the muck 30 cow version of this application. There was a muck 30 cow version if you check out in here but those only worked on iOS 14.0 up to 16.1.2 because muck 30 cow was patched on 16.2. However the KFD exploit works on iOS 16.2 and newer all the way up to 16.5 so we could re-implement WDB font overwrite using this one and now you can change the fonts on your iOS 16 device all the way up to 16.5. So it's the same application over here which supports changing the fonts and having multiple fonts on your device including the choco cookie font from samsung and you can get the ipa file compiled over here there are two versions apparently kfd font override that ipa and the non iphone 14 pro version so get the one that is appropriate for you and they said in here that they added offsets for iphone 10 to iphone 14 pro max on 16.2 to 16.5 and also for iphone se 2022 and 10r on ios 16.6 .6 beta 1 so yeah a lot of stuff in here definitely check it out and if it doesn't work for you it means that the offsets are not correct. Do keep in mind that this doesn't work on iOS 16.5.1 or iOS 16.6 .6 release candidate. So if you go ahead in here on iOS signing status and select your device, for example 14 Pro Max, you can see that iOS 16.6 .6 is the only version signed at the moment. This is not the beta, this is the final version. However, this version does not work with the KFD exploit. It was also patched in the 16.5.1. However, iOS 16.5 works and everything lower and iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1 works. So if you have any of those you can use this to change your font. Pretty simple application. You get the IPA from here on the releases tab, get the latest IPA on the assets and just sideload it to your device and with that you are able to change your font. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.